Virtual assistance is a growing industry. So in this video, I'll show you just how you can stand out so that your current and future clients are begging you to invoice them. Make sure you stick around until the end because we're uncovering the five qualities and skills you'll want in your back pocket so that you have everything you need to land that dream client and deliver a top quality experience. One that nets you ongoing work and a steady income. I'm Lauren Golden here with a new episode of Free Mama TV showing moms like you how to start and run a successful freelancing business from home. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new episode of Free Mama TV right here every Tuesday. Being a successful VA isn't just about answering emails and setting appointments. Sure, you'll probably do that, but if you only do that, you're not going to be that person's VA for very long. To be a successful virtual assistant, you need to know how to manage and communicate with your clients effectively. And unfortunately, a lot of VAs are falling short here. I've helped thousands of women set themselves apart from the crowd, and in this video, you'll get to see some great examples of how you can too. Let's dive in. Number one, excellent communication skills. Communication skills for a VA are a must. Not only do you need to know how to speak or email or text or PM your client, but it's also very likely you'll need to communicate regularly with their customers or other team members as well. Conveying your message professionally, concisely, and kindly while using proper grammar and spelling is a reasonable expectation for any VA. Moreover, regularly communicating your progress or reporting to your client to ensure you're building trust and meeting their expectations is also a quality of a highly sought after VA. Don't make them guess if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be making their lives easier after all. Number two, walk the walk. Oh man, this one is a kicker for me. We just discussed talking a good game as a VA, but do you walk the walk? Follow through, integrity. Do you do what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it? Are you reliable and hardworking? If so, you'll make a great VA. This one is so important and sadly, a lot of business owners and people in general are falling short. In fact, you've probably been let down by someone before who was flaky or didn't deliver. Managing your time effectively as a virtual assistant is incredibly important because you'll likely be managing multiple things for multiple people at any given time. So get your systems in place to manage your workflow and calendar and make sure you've integrated with your client systems as well so that you always follow through and exceed expectations. Number three, and my personal favorite, a uh, very famous saying in the free mama community is put a bow on it. What do I mean by this? Don't just do the minimum work that you can get away with. Clients go crazy for VAs who go above and beyond, and it really doesn't have to involve a lot of extra effort on your part. Thank you notes, Starbucks gift cards, just basically telling your client they're an amazing human. Uh, going above and beyond on a project might mean turning in multiple copies of something. There are so many different ways to go above and beyond. Hop on over to the comments down below and tell me what are some ways that you go above and beyond in your virtual assistance business. Number four, have a figure it out mentality. You don't have to know it all because quite frankly, nobody can. But if you're going to be a successful virtual assistant, you do need to be resourceful. Now you're gonna get asked to do a lot of things, most of which you maybe have never done before. It's literally your job to go figure it out and be solutions driven. So in case you are new to the world of virtual assistants or just the internet, let me introduce you to my friend, Google. <laughs> Through using search engines like Google or YouTube, you can quite literally figure out how to do pretty much anything online. So when it comes to being asked to do new things as a virtual assistant, don't freak out and don't ask your client first or go post in a random Facebook group until you have been resourceful to try to find the answer or the solution on your own. Last but not least, one of my favorite qualities of a successful virtual assistant is number five, be proactive. What do I mean by this? I mean, point out and seize new opportunities. I mean, as a virtual assistant, don't wait to be asked to do something when you know that it needs to be done. I want you to be confident that your client needs you. It's why they hired you in the first place. So make sure that you are providing the value that you know that you can do 
and always be proactive when reaching out to assist them. Now that you know the five qualities and skills required to be a standout VA, you might be wondering how you can put these awesome traits into action. So if you're looking for freelancing work you can do from home, but you're not sure what you have to offer, I have something for you. My 70 skills checklist will help you discover exactly what service business owners are desperate to pay you to do. So grab this free checklist and figure out what VA services you want to do to get paid using the link below. Also, if you want to join a community of mamas just like you, I have a Facebook group where thousands of mamas come together for support and action taking tips and motivation. And if you liked this video, please let me know by liking it below, subscribe it and share it with your fellow mamas and comment below with hashtag I am a free mama if you embody these qualities too. Number three and my personal favorite. What's that, 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 that. All right, all right, we're going for it. That was really long. I got us. That's creepy. One moment. Qualities of a. What do we think we can do it? No. That was kind of weak sauce. Okay, I'll be back with this one.